the radius of a conical tent is 7 meters and its height is 10 meters. Calculate the length of canvas used in making the tent if the width of the canvas is 2 meters. Take pi as 22 by 7. Okay, so we have a conical tent, a cone, right? So let us first draw a cone. This is our cone. And the radius of this cone is equal to how much? 7. So radius is equal to 7 meters given. And its height is 10 meters. The height of this cone is 10 meters. Alright. So this is H. This is R. What is this? This is L. Slant height, right? So L is slant height. We need to calculate the length of canvas used in making the tent. See this whole part, right? That means we need to find the curved surface area of this cone. All right, curved surface area of cone. What is the formula? It is pi r l. Okay, so we should take pi as 22 by 7. And what is the radius? It is 7 into l. We don't know what is L, right? But if you observe carefully here, this is a right angle triangle, right? H, R, L. How can we find L? See, this is a right angle triangle, right? This is H, this is R and this is L. So, L square, hypotenuse square will be equal to H square plus R square, H square plus R square using Pythagoras theorem. So, square goes on the other side, becomes root. So L slant height can be found using this root h square plus r square. So let us find it. L is equal to h square. What is h? 10. It is 10 square plus r 7 square. So this is 100 plus 49 root right? 149. So L is equal to root 149 which will be equal to 12.2 meters. This is in meters right? Okay. I will explain you how we got 12.2 in the last okay in the end part of this video now let us substitute that value of l 12.2 here 22 by 7 into 7 into 12.2 this 7 and this 7 will get cancelled so 22 into 12.2 will give us 268.4 meter square all right this is csa curved surface area of cone all right remember this cone is made out of a cloth right so suppose this is the cloth all right we need to find calculate the length of canvas used in making the tent if the width of the canvas is 2 meters okay suppose if this is the length l if you take this as length and this is width okay b and it is given as 2 meters what is the area we got? We got the area as 268.4. So this whole area, this whole area is equal to how much? 268.4 meters square. Okay. Now we need to find length. We know area. This is rectangle only, right? Area of rectangle is L into B. So area is 268.4 meters square and length is not known. We need to find breadth is given as 2 meters. This is meter square and this is meter, right? If you want to find the value of L length, 2 should be sent on the other side, isn't it? So it will divide. So this will be length. So half of 268.4 will give us 134.2 meter. 1 meter will get cancelled, right? So what is the length of canvas required? 134.2 meters. Okay. Alright. Now coming to this part. How did we get 12.2? How to find the square roots? Now see here, we wrote this value. After point, we wrote only one decimal value, right? So 149 point, we should make two pairs after point. Suppose if you want to find one more number here, 12.2, and if you want to write one more decimal, we need to make two more zeros. We need to write two more zeros here. Okay. Now, hmm. From right, we need to make pairs again of two two numbers because we are finding a square. If we were finding Q, we need to make pairs of three three numbers. Okay. All right. 
here we should have same numbers in this boxes we should have same numbers only one is left here right like same numbers means 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 okay 4 into 4 16 same number so which number will come here 1 1 is a 1 into 1 1 1 is, a, is 1 right okay if we take 2 2 is a 4 it will be greater than 1 which we, sh we should not take 2 2 is a, right we should take 1 1 is a. and whatever numbers we are taking in this boxes we should write it here that will be the answer for us okay so subtract now 1 minus 1 is 0 right so now bring this 42 49 down here in normal division we bring only one digit right here we are bringing two digits that's why we are see grouped two numbers here okay now we should add this 1 plus 1 will give us 2 and here again in this boxes we should have same numbers okay like 21 one za or 22 two za or 23 three za or 24 four za okay or 25 five za the last digit should be same okay so we cannot have 23 into 4 not like that because 3 and 4 they are different isn't it we should have same numbers so 22 into 2 will give us 44 right so 22 into 2 will give us 44 so the number which is written in the box should come here again so we wrote 12 here now subtract this 49 minus 44 5 okay this part we should add this 22 and 2 24 all right again two boxes here and bring these two zeros it is 500 now okay now 241 or he in the boxes we should have same numbers right 241 one za or 242 two za so 242 two za will satisfy right 2 two za is 4 8 4 4 84 will come here so this is two za but here we have a decimal point so place a decimal point here now this is 484 subtract you will get 16 here 2 we wrote 2 here in the box isn't it so 2 so 12.2 we got so that is why root 149 is 12.2 and we substituted that 12.2 in this pi r l we got the area as 268.4 and then we found length of the canvas needed all right so it was 134.2 meters